Our dear students, today we are solving the RBI DSIM to the uh, and we are into 4B. So samples of N1 and N2 are drawn from the two population having mu1 and mu2 respectively. Common variance is sigma square blue and fine blue of L1 mu1 plus L2 mu2 along with its variance and test the hypothesis uh, as well. Uh, which is a zero mu one equal to mu two and given give an allowance. So first blue of the linear unbiased estimate and its variance let x one hat and x two hat be the sample means of the two population or or with respect to sample sizes n one and n two respectively. So the blue of l two mu two is l one x one bar l2 x2 bar so its variance is var of this value n1 n2 so the test of hypothesis testing the hypothesis with respect to a0 mu1 mu2 so a0 is common mean that is mu so ANOVA table uh, it will be like this so this is the ANOVA formation directly I'm giving sources of variation so between within total okay sum of squares SSB is summation of ni xi minus x bar square normally this is W is uh, summation double summation this xij minus xi square SST is some summation xij minus x square so degrees of freedom is uh, here k minus 1 n minus k and if you add it n minus 1 and ms is msb is nothing but ssb by df I'm not doing this so this is the thing so k equal to 2 2 population and n equal to n1 plus n2 x bar equal to overall mean xij is the um, jth observation from the ith population so the test statistics is f equal to msb by msw uh, which follows f distributions with k minus 1 and n minus k degrees of freedom in the AGO. So if the calculated F value exceeds the critical F value at the chosen significance level, we reject A0 and conclude that the population means are different. So conclude that population means are different. So otherwise we fail to reject A0. So the ANOVA provides a way to test the equality of the means from the multiple population based on the sample data.